Hello and welcome to Business with Smith Co. Hello and welcome back to or welcome to Business with Smith Co. Today we're going to be talking about um, promotion but public relations. So public relations consists of all efforts by a business to create and maintain a good public image. It aims to achieve publicity and build a good corporate image of the business. The object of PR or public relations is to defend the reputation of the business from criticism when the business is then faced or, or you know, wherever, if it is ever faced with negative public exposure. It is not directly linked with increasing sales, but rather to increasing reputation of the business, which could in turn and should in turn lead to increased sales if it is a good reputation in the long term. Um, however, of course, it is a bit hard. Uh, bigger businesses might find this a bit a lot easier because their numbers will be a lot bigger. Um, smaller businesses might find this a little bit harder because if, obviously, if you're just a if you're just a small business in a, in a in a community, you know, and you might lose one customer just because they don't want to really uh, just get products from you that day. You know, that doesn't necessarily mean your public image has decreased. But obviously, for a bigger business, well, they're dropping a thousand customers is pretty significant. Um, or even for even bigger businesses, millions of customers sometimes is, is what you'll be talking about, you know. Anyway, so different methods of public relations are present. So there are methods of basically improving public relations. The first one that we'll discuss is sponsorship. You see, sponsorship basically works like this. So a business sponsors or pays money to uh, an event and then it has its logo shown in or, or, or name shown in promotional material, merchandise, you know, uh, on the event, just the event banners, all sorts of things, you know, maybe if it's a racing uh, thing or uh, or stadium on the sides, uh, all sorts of things, and uh, you know they made actually by the way it's just they 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 made, the sponsors may be more than one sponsor. Um, now the organizer can then use this sponsorship money to um, subsidize the event's actual costs, or if they don't want to, they can also improve the event. Um, if they already have a way to just you know to have the event's costs covered, if they want to improve the event, you know, make it a little bit more you know uh, professional, or you know make it a little bit more you know look a bit better, or you know if you want to film the event before and you weren't going to film the event, if you want to film the event now, you know. You know, get a camera or whatever the case may be. All these sorts of things. You know, you can you can get these things if you've got money towards the event. Uh, if if you if you want to, if the event is is, is is to raise money for charity, then you can get that money and you can and you can raise that for charity. And that's the sort of thing. Like it means that the business itself gets a sponsorship, um, but they're also giving it to an event uh, that gives money to charity. So the business doesn't really get money for nothing. In fact, you could see in some cases they might be actually getting, you know, a little bit of a very good deal, but they're still technically related to charity. Although, you know, technically they are still getting a, a pretty big sponsorship. So, you know, that's the thing had there. Um, so the link then provides positive feelings about the event. And then, it's like, if the link provides positive feelings about the event, then that will generally lead to positive feelings about the business. However, of course, if the event does not have positive feelings, if there's if the dodgy event, if it's all these sort of things, then that can actually affect the business. So it is important what sponsorship is chosen. Although, you know, businesses, we are available, you know, to, to, to be sponsored. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, apparently sponsorships are good, actually, for, for, for you know, I don't know. Anyway, so, one of the main things, though, is that sponsorships are sometimes badly placed. Um, so, this would be something like a fast food organisation sponsoring something like, you know, I mean, obviously, it, sometimes it's good, but other times it's bad, which is like, if you have a system where, like, you match a fast food company with a event that is trying to fight obesity or anything like that, then that can become a little bit of a problem because it's like, well, you know, you are partially the problem. It's a bit like if a, if a you know, a, a cigarette company sponsored, a, you know, a, 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 you know, an event that was fighting its lung cancer. It's like, yeah, but you're kind of one of the causes. You can't just go, oh, yes. See, we sponsored an event though. Yeah, maybe don't, don't sell a product and then 
sponsored event that is against the effects of your product. You know, it's all one of good line. I mean, some some products are, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, all all um all people who eat fast food are gonna be obese, it's just that, you know, you will find in some cases that the the problems of course with, you know, companies is that they do some companies will have bad effects on people. And that doesn't mean they'll have bad effects on everyone. That just means they'll have bad effects on certain people. And the problem is there is that the company sometimes looks kind of a little bit insensitive that company then sponsors an event which is, you know, related to that. Anyway, that can be a problem, of course, and that can damage the customer view that the sponsorship, sponsorship can have. Next, you have uh, social media. So social media, uh, well, it really kind of benefits it because a business may have a official page on all these kind of social media Sites. It could have an official page on YouTube, actually. Uh, you know, um, you know, we might have. You know, a, a lot of um, businesses might use YouTube to post its advertisements and all these sorts of things, and then they can base that off to not only just sort of like, if it's a very good advertisement, that they can like someone can actually share the advertisement, but also, you know, that someone like that they're able to base that off to like YouTube is like, oh, okay, yeah, sure, you just have a YouTube channel where you have you have your um advert. Okay, here we go, and that sort of thing you have there, which is. You know, it's, it, 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 it makes things easier because it means that you can sort of build up this sort of, uh, uh, you know, it can build up this sort of idea of like, oh, we can respond to like negative comments or, I mean, we can actually, um, or media, article, media articles by, media articles by consumers or, you know, anyone who was really, you know, making a statement about their product or you know followers of the product they can talk to them and all these sort of things and they can use all these things to build a sort of a kind of almost like a, a, a fan base so you know this is kind of like a it, it, it can become a little bit you know sometimes you know they, they may they may use um uh they may use the method of kind of building up customers to their name rather than outright saying buy our product send buy our product send buy our product send buy our product they may build up a thing where they just go they, you know they might just have their little social media side might be just sort of like oh look our company's kind of you know see see our company's nice nice yeah yeah and then when you watch an advert you remember our company's nice because you know you, you looked at all those social media posts and you went, oh, that, 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 that's a nice one. Remember, you, you thought our company was nice then. So now that we sent you a natural advert, would you, would, you, would you like to buy a product? And that's the sort of thing you have there. Now, while we were talking about, um, you know, how sponsorships and that might lead to charitable organisations, what happens when a business comes along and outright just cuts any kind of events and just goes direct to charity. So when a business partners with a charity uh, or gives a portion of its profits or sales of a product to a chosen charity, this creates pretty good publicity for the business on a, or a product. Because while an event kind of can cause a little bit of a problem because, you know, it can be a bit of a poor choice at times, a charity is... A little bit more likely to have a certain area there because obviously if I, if, I, if I run a charity and an event says okay we want to raise money for you our aim is to raise you know a hundred grand and I'm gonna go that's great we'll, we'll, we'll help a lot of people with that you know or and then I go okay so yeah and then next day we well, that company is sponsoring you oh well, I, I'm not sure it's too late now the event has already started that's the point it's it's an issue there but if the charity is actually in direct kind of partnership with the business then they could go well I know your business actually wouldn't probably be the best to uh, you know raise money to be honest um, you know then you have uh, the kind of idea where you have multiple charities which is like you know where you can even sort of like customers decide um like oftentimes businesses may have and this this sometimes though is it's a little bit uh a little bit of a problem actually because sometimes what businesses might do is offer a service where you as a customer could give to charity but it would be added to a product that you're buying from them uh or it could be like well you know five percent of this will go to charity which charity would you like to give it to? 
you know, all these sort of things, and they have, might have listed charities or whatever the case may be. Now, next you have celebrity endorsements or influencers. Now, uh, as far as I know, unless I've forgotten, um, we currently aren't a, a, an influencer or I am not currently an influencer. So uh, unfortunately, I wouldn't really know much about this. I, I don't think I've ever really endorsed a product. If I have, I, I'm sorry, I don't really like endorsing products. Or, but I mean, uh, it depends if the product is good. This is a, can be a good thing, but if the product is bad, an influencer can actually have an adverse effect because what can happen is they can have this idea because unlike other methods of PR, sometimes PR can be a little bit under the table. And this is one of the ways it can be under the table, which is in some cases, it's very vague that the person, like sponsorships are, you know, like if, if, if let's say a business says to me, oh, we want to sponsor your channel for this, you know, I don't know, whatever the product is. And then I go, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, that that that'd be good, you know, that'd be me. I can I can make I can make a video this this uh, this week, yeah. So yeah, sure. And then okay, go along, head, but then YouTube's thing will say, No, you have to say it's sponsored by you have to say this video is sponsored by such and such. Because that's the rules. But when you get to celebrity endorsements, things become a little bit darker because a business may pay a celebrity or famous person to use its product. It might use a social media influencer or whatever it case may be. But the point is, while it's using them to target a large market, a large demographic shared, you know, they're shared by them and the influencer. The problem may be that, well, you know, how do you know that the the some some rules change in some some areas? You don't actually have to say outright you might only have to say in a small corner you know paid by or whatever these sort of things there are some different laws involved and some things where it's like oh you have to label it but in some areas in some countries things change in some countries you your labeling requirements can be very vague and sometimes it's only just oh in the little in the little section below your writing or in very small writing or whatever the case may be and in this case this can cause problems because it may not cause problems with a business, it probably won't cause problems with a business. In fact, it probably will improve because it's one thing, like if an ad plays before this video, you're less likely to buy a product from that than you are if I say, buy Johnny's Flakes. Johnny's Flakes are the best cornflakes in the world. You can enjoy them all the time. Like that's, um, if, if there is a company called Johnny's Flakes, don't, no, don't, I am not saying buy from them. I'm just saying that the point is you are less likely to buy from an advert than you are from an influencer that you like. Because at the end of the day, you know, you know it's an ad. If you think the influencer actually likes the product and you think the influencer actually, you know, has tried it and you actually think the influencer has actually, you know, enjoyed it, then you think, oh, that's someone I like, they're not, um, but then they're saying, get this product. Also, I'm helping them out by clicking the link. So I'm doing a lot of things to help them out. I'm also getting something which is probably gonna be good because they like it. And um, that's kind of better in your mind to an advert because that was like, well, that's a company saying, buy our product, essentially. It doesn't matter what it's saying in the advert. It's, you know, well, it does actually, but you know what I mean? It, it, what it's ever saying in the advert could be false in some ways, as long as it like keeps in the law. Also, some companies have actually had to remove ads for, you know, uh, breaking advertising standards. But, you know, that's the sort of area. So, if you have this sort of area where it's like, so it's, the product may not be so, you know, well, good, even if it is uh, endorsed by celebrities. And sometimes that can be a problem because celebrities can may endorse products that are bad for customers. And there you have it. Anyway, so in the next video, we'll be talking about sales promotions. So please do join us then. Um, hopefully we'll be able to talk about you. So hopefully we'll be able to see you then. And if not, maybe I'll see you on, on a different video. Or, or, um, or you know, never. And I mean, if you you might subscribe to your channel though before you leave. Or, or a different time. Could that, that'd be nice. And, uh, well, I guess if you're not coming back and not 
I've got a few other videos as well. Well, I guess we'll say bye bye and hope you enjoy the rest of your existence. Yeah. But the others, uh, for the people who are, who uh, might be coming back, yeah. So I'll see you then.